Now, United Nations Women Nigeria has decried the high rate of human trafficking, attributed it to the high rate of unemployment in the country. It also wants the government to build shelters for the return of victims of trafficking. Program analyst of UN Women, Aminat Stockman, made this known in Abuja at a workshop organized by Clean Foundation in collaboration with the United Nations Women. The theme was Methodology, a workshop on gender audit, tool development for the assessment of protection services and shelters on forced migration and human trafficking. She urged government to all levels to enforce stiffer laws against human trafficking to prevent consistent deaths and slavery of Nigerians. So it's a methodology workshop on gender audit and uh, why gender audit clean um, clean uh, with support from the UN Women implemented several interventions that are aimed at unraveling all the problems associated with trafficking in persons in Edo um, and the Lagos states. The outcome was revealing. Uh, part of the problem reviewed or part of the challenges reviewed are uh, all the issues associated with per lack of adequate parental care and even the criminality Okay, chains of criminals that benefit from these illegal uh, activities, including parents. If they receive appropriate counseling and guidance, and if they are empowered after coming back, they may not go back into that trafficking. And that's why we're doing this gender audit of shelters and uh, gender audit of service uh, uh, providers of service protection protection services in Abuja because if you're able to do appropriate counseling, if you're able to provide them with the required services when they return, if you're able to empower them, if you're able to make them see reasons why they should not go back that is, if you make them see reasons why they need to stay in the country Human trafficking issues should be by, should be into should be added to educational curriculums by, of course, the relevant stakeholders, the experts, so that from young ages, if it's not possible from primary um, institutions, it should be from secondary, so that from a young age, a young person or a child would be well informed about what human trafficking is, the ills of human trafficking, and how human trafficking contributes to the decadence of our society. I think this will go a long way in helping to solve the problem of human trafficking. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.